Hello and assalamu guys welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about the if statement so let us get started what is if statement well basically if statement is a statement which controls the flow of the program what do i mean by that well if i come to google and i see a picture it is called flow chart basically flow how does program flow how does program work how does it run well, we have something called sequential structure or sequential flow. This flow is basically line by line. The first line will run first, then the second line, then the third line, and so on and so forth. And we have the second type of the flow. This flow is a selection flow or a condition flow. Depending on the condition, if your condition is true, it's going to execute this part of the code. If the condition is false, it's going to execute the false part of the program. Easy enough, right? So let us actually have a simple example. Let me write a simple program, then I'll explain it to you. So we have this small program. It basically is saying if my password 123 equals 123, then run this part of this statement. Okay, so let us actually run this. If you come back in here and refresh this, what we'll see is password is correct because it's 123. Let's change it to 5. Now let us come back and we'll see nothing because the password is not correct. So it's saying if the password is correct, then run this statement. If it is not correct, then go on to the rest of the program because there is nothing else. It's going to stop. But if I say and if we save this, come back in here, refresh this, it's going to directly say program is finished. And it's not gonna run this part because password is not equal to one two three. Let us make this statement again true and let us come back. So what happened in here is it checked the condition, it was true, then it executed this part of the code. After this, it went on to complete the program. Nothing hard, right? But if I say password is correct, then I want to say welcome, Mr. Ali. What do I do? I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna say echo. Welcome, Mr. Mr. Ali. I'm going to close this and save this. If password is correct, then it should run these two lines. Let us come back, refresh this. What we'll see is password is correct. Welcome, Mr. Ali. Program is finished. Let us make it incorrect and let us come back. So these two lines should not execute, right? Let us come back, refresh. Welcome, Mr. Ali. Program is finished. We see welcome, Mr. Ali. Why? Because if condition allows you one piece of line without curly braces. So if you have more than one piece of lines, then you have to use the curly braces. Then cut this and paste it. So now if I come back and try this, it's going to say program is finished and it's not going to run these two parts or these two lines is enough right well let us make it do something if the password is incorrect we'll say else and if you come back in here refresh this it's going to say password is incorrect then it's going to say program is finished is enough right else means if this part is not correct then run this part basically this is it but if you have a program like this if you have something like mood, let's say its value is bad. So it's going to say if your mood is bad, your mood is bad. If the variables value is not bad or if these two don't equal each other, then it's going to say your mood is something like this my mood is happy and i want to say wow what happened why are you happy or something like that then i can say else if because we have another condition for mood that is happy condition and for this happy condition we can say if your mood is happy then echo this out what to echo did you get a girlfriend or something or if my mood is like Mm, sad so I can say I can set a condition for sad I can say if my mood is sad then echo 
why are you sad so this is really easy program it is saying if the mood is bad then it should run this part if the mood is uh, happy then it should run this part if the mood is sad then it should run this part if it's not one of these moods then it should run the default statement that is your mood is then the name of the mood let us try the happy mood come on i like the idea of getting a girlfriend even though i don't have one but still come on let us come in here refresh this it's gonna say did you get a girlfriend of something then it's gonna say program is finished because my mood is happy but what if my mood is like naughty then i can come back in here and refresh this it's gonna basically say your mood is naughty because it couldn't find any condition called naughty simple enough right okay guys that was all for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye